You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge cleaning out With us it's all or nothing and welcome back for another cleaning motivation video. I hope you guys are ready for this one. We have a ton to tackle today. The kitchen is a mess, the living room is a mess, and we are going to clean up some of the stuff that was left behind from Christmas. All of these dishes were from Christmas day and Christmas morning, so we're gonna tackle those. We're going to clean up the dining area and the living room as well. I hope that you guys had a wonderful holiday and that you spent it with your loved ones if you could. And I hope it was super enjoyable and that all of your Christmas wishes came true. We had a really wonderful Christmas over here and we did get to spend it with my mom and my stepdad and my stepbrother. So we had a really wonderful holiday and I hope that you did as well. And a very belated Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year if you are watching this after New Year's Eve. But I hope you guys had a really wonderful holiday and you are ready to get some cleaning taken care of and get motivated motivated to get some cleaning done because I have a ton of motivation for you today. We are going to start in the kitchen by doing the dishes, get all the dishes loaded up in the dishwasher and taken care of because like I said, like I showed you, the sink was just piled high with them. I have an extra set of hands in the 
kitchen and helping me with the cleaning today. My husband, Corey, is joining me because he was off and he offered to help. And I very much took advantage of his help for this video because there was so much that needed to be tackled and I was just so exhausted from the holidays. Does anybody else get that way? I feel like Christmas just wipes me out. So I'm super tired and I was so lucky that my husband was willing to help me. So he's gonna tackle cleaning up the top of the fridge while I tackle the other parts of the kitchen that need to be cleaned up. I'm gonna clean up the sink, spray some bleach in there to disinfect everything, and then we're gonna rinse that down really well and move on to using Barkeeper's Friend to really get it nice and clean and all polished. So Corey is going to help me out by cleaning up all of the appliances and he's gonna be using the Wyman stainless steel spray that I obsess over whenever I need to clean my appliances. It works so well and it pol polishes them up so nicely. So if you are looking for a stainless steel cleaner, I highly, highly recommend it. If this is your first time here, I just wanna take a moment and introduce myself. My name is Bronte. That is my husband, Corey, helping me in the kitchen and helping me clean up. Usually he is not in my cleaning videos, but he is a huge, part of my makeover videos and he always helps me execute all of those. So if you are here for the first time and you've never seen one of my makeover videos, I recently just did two of our bathrooms. So go and check those out. I also did the kitchen and our house has transformed so much just in the last year since we started doing all of our makeovers. And they're all gonna be linked down in, this, in my description box. If you haven't seen them yet, go and check them out and let me know what you guys think. One of the other things that I really wanted to get done today was cleaning the counters. They are a hot mess. There's food all over them from baking and making cookies and cinnamon rolls. My tradition for the kids is to make homemade cinnamon rolls from scratch every Christmas morning. I always beat myself up when I'm doing it because it takes a long time. They are so delicious. I'm going to link the recipe down below for you guys because you have to try them. They're Cinnabon Duke 
kind of knockoff recipe and it's amazing. The best cinnamon roll recipe, I've made a few others in an effort to try to figure out which cinnamon roll recipe I like the best and these are by far the best one. So if you are a cinnamon roll person, check it out. It'll be linked down below for you. But during this video, my husband actually took down all of the Christmas decor. I didn't get it on video though. I'm so sorry about that. But all of the Christmas decor ended up coming down and it was so nice to get the house all decluttered and a little bit more minimal. For some reason this year, I just wasn't feeling having the Christmas decor out for a long time. I don't know why. Maybe it's just 2020 and that's just kind of how the year has been. So I'm going to take all of the burners and the grates off of my stove and I'm gonna put them in the dishwasher. And whenever I do that, I make sure these little holes on my grates are up so that the water is not sitting in them and they're not getting rusted. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure about myself when I met ya Before I get to wiping down the stove, I'm actually going to vacuum it up and vacuum up as many crumbs as I can using my Shark Rocket vacuum. There are so many crumbs and so much flour on here. I wanted to get up as much as I could before actually spraying it down and wiping it to try to get any of the grease and anything else off of the stove. So I'm just going to vacuum everything and then I'm going to be using glass cleaner to clean the stove top. It works really well if you have a glass cooktop or if you have a black stove top like I do. It gets all of the streaks and everything off of your stove really, really well and leaves it looking brand new and shiny. So there was a sticker stuck to the island from some sort of Christmas decor that I had put up there to decorate. So my husband used a razor to get that off and then I used Thieves to remove any of the sticky residue and it worked really, really well. So if you have Thieves on hand and if you have any stickers or anything like that, highly recommend that. I know that lemon essential oil works well too to remove sticky residue, but I did not have any of that on hand. Show emotions, we just keep it down, down inside. Yeah, you and I both longing for expression for the things we like, but we stay quiet. Hold me now, hold me now. Tell me things, tell me all about how you feel. Just let yourself go. Is that it? 
Now that most of the stuff in the kitchen has been cleaned up, before we move on to the dining area, I'm gonna light one of my Wild West Wix candles. I'm obsessed with these candles. It's from a local Las Vegas gal who makes candles, obviously, and they just smell so, so good and they burn really nicely, and I'm obsessed with them. So we are also going to clean up the dining table. A lot of it was cleaned up by my husband, so I'm just gonna tackle the rest of it and get everything all wiped down. He has been such a big help in this video, and it was so nice to have helping hands because usually I tackle all the cleaning myself and it can be so exhausting and tedious and just repetitive so it was really nice to have him helping me. Just like the flowers through the concrete Just you and me Just let go We are gonna vacuum up the dining area and the kitchen area before we move on to cleaning up the living room. Toys need to be put away and we are actually going to tackle vacuuming and cleaning up underneath the couch, underneath our ottoman and cleaning behind the couch and the couch cushions themselves. So if you need some couch cleaning motivation and just need motivation to lift that couch up and get all of those crumbs, this is gonna be the motivation for you. I even moved the island today to get all of the stuff underneath. It's not a built-in island, obviously, so I'm just gonna move everything and clean up underneath. There was crumbs, there was dust, and like dust bunnies that were gigantic underneath the island because I usually don't vacuum under there too often. So definitely needed it. Now let's take care of this living room. There's toys that have been left out since Christmas and just flocking from the Christmas tree all over the floor. So we're gonna take care of that. Let's start the living room by cleaning up all of the toys so that we can get everything off of the floor. Then we'll move on to getting everything off the ottoman and the couch so that we can vacuum and really straighten everything up and dust in here. There's a, there's just stuff everywhere, but it's not as bad as it was on Christmas morning. Oh my gosh, you guys should have seen it. I wish I would have gotten that on video because that would have been super motivational. I would have been motivated by that. It was such a hot mess. This house was such a disaster. The upstairs of my house is still such a disaster so we're going to tackle that in the next video the kids rooms look like toy bombs have gone off there's clothes everywhere because they haven't put their clothes away and it's just a hot mess my bedroom is a hot mess the bathrooms haven't been cleaned so we're going to take care of all of that in the next video be on the lookout stick around and subscribe for that one I believe, I believe, even if i try and try so hard nothing's ever enough
I was straightening up the living room, my husband and my son came home from the store and they had brought me flowers as a surprise and it was the cutest thing ever. This is not something that happens often here, it is, so it is such a surprise when it does and I was just like so in love with it. I left the footage in here because I wanted to have this as a memory forever because I was just so excited and honestly taken aback by it. So we're going to clean up the rest of the living room. We're really going to get in there and deep clean underneath the couch, the ottoman, and we're going to get behind the couch. Oh my gosh. Underneath the couch was so disgusting and I just did it not too long ago, but I guess that's life with kids and dogs. It was so gross. Hairy, crumbs, food wrappers. Like I don't even know where these kids get these snacks from because we have a baby lock on the door so the kids just don't raid the pantry even though... When it gets left open, they do raid the pantry, but it was so disgusting. You guys will see in a minute. There was so much stuff under there, and the amount of dog hair that was stuck up against the baseboards is disgusting. Better say something that will change my mind. Gotta give me something. I'm not blind And I don't know how to enjoy it Every time you tell me it's not there I suppose that we won't stand a chance We won't stand a chance We are going to pick all this junk up and then we are going to vacuum and by we I mean we my husband is even going to help me we're going to vacuum up all the dust all the dog hair crumbs feathers from the pillow inserts and everything else and we're also going to dust and vacuum the window sills and the shades themselves too and just get everything taken care of and back in order because it was hard to get everything super cleaned up when we had the Christmas tree out and I feel like I had the Christmas tree out for so long. So we're just gonna get it all back in order and I usually can't get in to these windows that are behind the couch and clean them unless I pull the couch out. So whenever the couch gets pulled out, we take advantage of having those open and clean those up really well. mop up the floors and I am going to be using super hot water out of the tap as hot as it will get and then I am going to put a little teaspoon of powdered Tide laundry detergent in there as well as a splash of bleach to disinfect and clean the floors really well and I really wanted to hit those areas under the couch that I usually don't get where food was stuck from all the kids stuff and just stuff in general was caked on the floor so we're gonna mop those up and a cleaning tip for you is if you have baseboards with quarter round like mine, run your mop along them, especially if you are doing the bleach and powder tide method, and it'll break up any dust and dirt and grime that sticks to your baseboards and the quarter round. So I'm also going to mop up the rest of the living room and the dining and kitchen area as well. And we are just going to get everything taken care of. You can see my goofy family just having a blast in the background. Um, Tegan was such a ham during this whole video. He had my sunglasses on and my headphones on and my hat on. And he was just rocking out because we were blasting music. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. And I just wanted to leave that in there and have these memories of the kids. I just think they're at such a fun 
age. They are a lot to handle at times, but this is stuff that I just want to remember forever. So I left that part in the video. Even in the hard times, I care about you. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer now before it's over. I hope that you guys have gotten a ton of cleaning motivation from this video so that you are able to tackle some messes around your house and get all settled after the holidays and get ready for the new year to come. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you haven't already done so, stick around and subscribe for cleaning motivation every week, as well as DIY home makeovers. I've recently done two bathroom makeovers. I've done the kitchen makeover. And I have so many other things on my to-do list. I think next up will be the laundry room because that one will be quick and easy to tackle just like our most recent bathroom makeover was. So be on the lookout for those as well. I hope that you guys have a super amazing day. And if I don't talk to you before the new year. Happy new year to you. And I hope 2021 is good to all of us. Thank you guys again for watching. Stick around and subscribe. Click on one of these videos if you need some more motivation or want to check out one of my makeover videos. Have a super amazing day and I will catch you in the next one.